Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Masha. I work for the best guides, and today we'll continue our antivirus sightseeing tour. It's a lovely morning, and we are in the very center of Saint Petersburg, in Nevsky Prospect. So it's Nevsky Prospect. In front of us, you can see monument to Catherine the Great. Behind the monument, the yellow building with the white columns, it's Alexandrinsky Theater. But today, we will speak not about Nevsky Prospect, not about the monument to Catherine the Great, and even not about the theater. I'm going to tell you a story about a very short but very famous street, which is just behind the theater. And it's interesting that the street is famous among architects and art historians for one reason, and it's, let's say, well known among ordinary citizens for an absolutely different reason. So, please follow me and I will tell you the story. So, here we are. Two yellow buildings, to the right and to the left of me, they are absolutely identical. Uh, the building which is behind, it's the theater, which you have already seen from Nevsky Prospect. All these buildings were designed by one architect, architect Rossi, and the street is named after him, architect Rossi Street. The most famous thing about the street is the proportions. The height of the buildings is 22 meters, the width of the street is 22 meters, and the length of the street is 10 times more, 220 meters. These proportions considered to be perfect. But, as I already mentioned, ordinary citizens who are not architects, not art historians, and not professional tour guides, they know the street for a different reason. Inside of, inside of this very building, there is a place all Russian girls dream about. Okay, maybe not all, but great majority. Some dream more seriously, some dream less seriously, some are just crazy and ready to do whatever just to get in there. To tell the truth, when I was a little girl, I was among the majority. Do you understand what I'm speaking about? Do you understand what is inside? No? Listen. Yes, you're right. It's a ballet school. It's the famous ballet academy named after Vaganova. And of course you know that Russian ballet is the best ballet in the world. And Russian ballet dancers are considered to be the best. And I would like to say that all of them are from this very school, but it's not the exact truth. And there is another school in Moscow and it's also very good. But we are in St. Petersburg and we are going to speak about St. Petersburg. So it's the best ballet school in Russia and the best ballet school in the world. So I also want to say that to be a ballet dancer in Russia, it's something very prestigious. It's as prestigious as to be a movie star in the US or it's almost like to be a goddess. And now I want to show you one more place. It's over there, it's a square at the end of the street. Please follow me. Follow me. So this very square is named after Lomonosov, the greatest Russian scientist. His bust you can see in the center, and if you're interested in his biography or in the official history of the square, you easily can find all this in the internet. I'm going to tell you a different story. So, give a look. Does the square remind you anything? Does the shape of the square remind you anything? No? Actually, the shape of this square didn't remind me anything either, till my mom told me the story. And it was many years ago, when I was a little girl, I dreamt about the ballet school. 
the nickname of this square is Vatrushka. Vatrushka is a Russian cake with skirt. It has a shape of pizza and it's very tasty. But actually, it's not good for your figure. I mean, if you eat it every day, you will put on weight. Girls from the ballet school, they have to be very slim. And they're always on a diet. And it means they're always hungry. Wherever they look at, all the thing reminds them food. And this very square reminds them Batrushka. And now this name, in turn, reminds us not, about, not only about Russian cake, but about little girls, little Russian girls from the ballet school who dream to dance. We are on Lomonosov Bridge, just a step away from Lomonosov Square or Batrushka Square. It's one of my most favorite bridges in the city. Pay attention to the chains and to the deal at the distance. Blue domes with golden stars. Our short tour is almost over. Ladies and gentlemen, I very much hope very soon all of you will be able to come to St. Petersburg. And I hope on one beautiful evening you will go to the Russian Ballet, you will go to Mariinsky Theatre, or maybe Mikhailovsky Theatre, or if you prefer modern art, you can go to the Eifman Ballet. When you enjoy exquisite dance of famous Russian ballerinas, please recall in your memory the story about little Russian girls from the Ballet Academy and their funny way to the stage. So bye bye and see you in Russia. Chanson que chantaient les soldats.